you still couldn't film you or film straight? video for um, people. Okay, this, this, is, this is what I was going to say, you know, even though this is probably just kind of a side note. People from all over the country want to see what LA look, looks like. So you do a little bit of uh, this and that so people see, oh, wow, that's a 17 in LA. How have you been doing? Oh, I, I, I'm fine. I've been fine, you know, just uh, been busy, man. It's kind of hard to uh, have all these hobbies and do all this stuff and and have responsibilities. It's a balancing act. Yeah. Um, what kind of content do you like to make? My favorite content? Well, that's interesting you ask me that because about three years ago when I started making content, actually it started before that. That's why I tell everybody all the time, watch my other videos because there's a lot of other... <laughs> that I do and my first video I actually made was uh, 2008 it's still you can still find it it's when I'm trimming my goatee so kind of ironic I have a goatee now and um, an illusion it makes it look like I'm being being interviewed by oh who's that uh, scary the magpies in the back seat why is my teeth so yellow? Yellow teeth, yellow teeth. Who would you? Oh yeah, I gotta establish that I'm laughing at his jokes. <laughs> that would be funny, huh? That would be really funny. That would be so funny. Why do you choose that type of content to create? Because I wasn't any good at doing political commentator. And a lot of people do political commentating. You know, like Mark Dice. I did a video making fun of him but it was really clickbait and it didn't really work out as I thought, but you know, whatever. I mean, he, he does really good political commentate, commentary. I, I, I kind of agree with a lot of what he has to say. So everyone else is doing political commentary, commentary. So I just said to myself, first of all, I don't really have a good political IQ. I do understand a lot of policy making and how people make policies and all this stuff, but um, I kind of established that I can't work on a project like building maybe a Lego set or working on my cars or whatever. I said to myself, I'm just going to make entertainment content. And then I was talking to my friend, my next door neighbor in my mom's house. I, he was telling me, why don't you go around Los Angeles and videotape different things? That's why right now I'm on the 710 freeway. I'm interviewing myself because that's just how it goes so i just said to myself i'm gonna just make more stuff that's entertainment and where's the best place to make these videos well la is the best place to make videos seriously you could go anywhere and get some good content like a video that I did better than my other videos is the video about the topanga mall i mean people like that's what my friend told me, the next door neighbor. He said, why don't you go places where people all over the world uh, might want to check out? Like if they come visit Los Angeles, they might want to check out the mall and see what the mall looks like. We'll see what the mall is about. So LA is just a good place. I mean, I, there's hiking trails. There's the beach. I'm hoping to do some beach video. I have some beach video in my, uh, my um, collection. <laughs> I've been to the beach. There's just really, I, I guess I'm very blessed to be here in this in this uh, in this city to make videos. And who who would you say is the best people to actually make these videos with? Oh man, you know what? Uh, right now it's pretty much all kind of random. Everything you know because. I don't really have anybody that will do video with me. I have my, my nephew, I have my nieces. They give me good ideas on what to do. I have friends that might give me good ideas of what to do. But, you know, as far as having anybody help me in any of my videos, wow, 
I get magpies in back seats of cars, all this stuff, but as far as like having anything really like substantial, it's a, it's a work. If you could uh, interview anyone, who would you want to interview with next? Man, I mean, I, I like to, uh, it would be cool to interview Russell Westbrook. I bet if I could interview Russell Westbrook, that would be some really good content because I know people love Russell. Russell Westbrook, you know he's a basketball player? He was a star, oh my gosh, he did so well. He is a phenomenon. But really, honestly, what I decided to do this time is just to interview myself because some, you know, good, some of the best stuff just starts with an idea. You have a good idea and you run with it. I had this idea I was going to interview uh, uh, some attractive females because uh, I had a friend of mine that says, oh, if you have attractive females on your your uh, YouTube, you're going to get a lot of views because everyone wants to look at attractive females, but, well, I couldn't find any. So that is um, probably not going to happen. But again, if people watch my videos and they want me to interview them, Oh my gosh, this is um, a lot of traffic over here. Look at, look at, look at the traffic. Look at this. I hope this works out the way I thought. Man. Send me to feature downtown LA. This is like this is this is when people are paid to document all the footage. So you know what footage to go back to and where this happened. And, you know, gonna random something in the middle because. Um, Why do you hate white people? <laughs> that would be kind of a funny question. I I hate everyone equally. I'm an equal opportunity hater. Shut up. This is satire. So, if you think I'm serious, then you guys don't know comedy like I do. Right. I am a freaking hilarious person. Yeah. That's why I got like 10 million subscribers on my my, my, my content because I'm freaking hilarious. I'm funnier than Russell Brand. And Russell Brand, I don't know. He, he For some reason, everybody knows that name. But when it comes to my name, they're like, who that? You know, just like if you go to the Taco Bell here, this is the creepiest freaking, I shouldn't say it too loud, but this Taco Bell is the creepiest freaking Taco yes, Bell yes, ever. So you're the one the one stop. I wanted to come here. There's another Taco keep, Bell. Why you keep going up? You can hit that. Oh. <laughs> No, but for real, I think this was one of the legendary Taco Bells where they were dealing drugs out the window. And it's right there by the 405 freeway. So damn. Last time I ate here, I was I survived. I was okay. So we might as well eat some taco. Uh, what do they call it? Like back when I was a kid, you gotta when you go to a Taco Bell, you have to say cat after every item. that you order, you say, what do you want? I want a taco cat, I want a Coke cat, and I want a burrito cat, and then I want some cinnamon twist cat. <laughs> How are you? The cat was no, because that's stupid things we did when we were little, like, or not little, but like stupid teenagers. Because I remember, we're going to Taco Bell that used to, you know, Alberto, Alberto tacos used to be Taco Bell, right? Oh, it was? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. But anyways, um, Steven, Richard, uh, Richard, not related to you, but Richard, uh, 
audience and, and me, and I think sometimes one or two other people would go and talk. Well, just to go have all you could drink. And I wonder why my, my... Hi, what can I get for you? Oh. Yeah, that was actually interesting. You were talking crap about me video, making video on her. Behind my back, they didn't say to my face. They could've. I mean, like, what am I gonna do, bite them? Or maybe they're gonna bite me.